Are you waitlisted at a college or university and wondering what are the odds of you getting off that waitlist? If so, in this video, that's exactly what we're going to talk about. So for this video, we've created a massive data chart, and I definitely recommend that you head to our blog to check it out. It's all of the waitlist data from 2017 to 2021, evaluating what percentage of students who were accepting a place off the waitlist got in off the waitlist for schools and ranked about in the top 200. In this video, we're going to focus on top 50 or so ranked schools, give or take. I am throwing out 2020 a bit when I'm doing these predictions. What I'm looking at is if they have 2021 data, I'm looking heavily at 2021 and 2019 because 2020 was such a weird year with COVID and everybody being in remote schooling. So in this video, I'm gonna go through some lists of schools that you basically have no chance at, so you shouldn't be sending a Loki to probably unless you feel like twiddling your thumbs because you're probably not getting in, to schools where you have a really decent chance of getting off that wait list if you express interest. If you don't know what a Loki is, letter of continued interest, we have an entire video on, on that. I also recently was on a podcast called Test and the Rest, where I talked about the Loki, so you can check that out as well. We'll put the link in the blog that goes with this video. So first I'm getting into schools that aren't on this list, but you should definitely send a Loki to. So some schools like to hide their waitlist data. In fact, they like to hide their waitlist data at times because they're using it to try to leverage their numbers and protect their yield. What's yield? Yield is the idea that if they offer you a spot at the university, you take that spot and actually attend, right? Yield is the percentage of students who are offered a spot and actually come. One of the reasons that colleges love to leverage wait lists is that it helps them up their yield. So they can essentially wait list people who they think are really great candidates, but probably aren't going to come to their college or university, right? So that the offers that they give out are actually given to people who wanna come there. Okay, and your letter of continued interest is a way that they can gauge that interest, right? So first of all, these schools are not listed because we couldn't find the data on them or we couldn't find enough data on them, but I know that people get off the wait list at these schools and sometimes and in some years, considerably so. First on this list is Columbia. I think this year is a really good year to try to get off the Columbia wait list and here's why. Columbia has recently been grilled in the news because a math professor has called into question Many of the statistics that Columbia has submitted to U.S. News & World Report that has led to its rise in rankings to number two in the nation. So I would think that because Columbia is under a bit of heat from the press right now, that it is very likely that it's not going to yield at the same level that it used to. So students who, for instance, last year got into both Columbia and Brown, they might have said, oh, Columbia is higher ranked. I'm going to go to Columbia. This year, I think they might give that pause. So that means that the Columbia wait list is probably going to open up more, which could be good news for you if you're waitlisted there. U Chicago, another school that's very quiet about its numbers. I know for a fact that students do get off the wait list at U Chicago, and U Chicago loves people who have major demonstrated interest. So if you show incredible interest in U Chicago and you have the stats, you have a good shot of getting off that wait list, okay? Not listed also is Harvard. Harvard, you generally do have a low chance of getting off a wait list at Harvard, period. But Harvard's wait list tends to be a little bit smaller than some of the other colleges out there. So you might have a better chance of getting off the wait list at Harvard than some other places. And I've certainly heard of people getting off the wait list at Harvard. So, you know, there's a low chance, but there's still a chance. No wait list. USC doesn't have a wait list, but they do accept people off of the spring admin list. The USC also maintains something called a Trojan transfer program. So rather than work from a wait list, if you're sort of on the fringe of getting into USC, USC is going to offer you some other way to get into the university, right? It's going to be spring admin. It's going to be Trojan transfer program. You know, Cornell likes to do things like that too. The university of Florida also says it has no wait list. Not happening. Okay. So now we're going to get into schools where like, if you are waitlisted, the chances of you getting off that waitlist are probably below 1%. Like, probably not happening. Just get your tears out now. Your dream school's probably not in the cards. MIT, Yale, Dartmouth, UT, Austin, and Tulane. Slim chances. These are places where in some years maybe they admit a few people off and in other years they're not admitting anybody. Caltech, Brown, Cornell, Rice, Georgetown, Michigan, Carnegie Mellon, UVA, Tufts. UNC Chapel Hill, College of William and Mary, Boston University, Brandeis University of Illinois, Purdue. So Purdue used to let more people off their wait list, but I feel like Purdue is becoming more and more a very desirable university to many 
students to me in terms of popularity ranking it's going up and so their yield i think has been going up recently i would anticipate that they're not going to be admitting a ton off the wait list rpi santa clara university of miami and george washington university so you have a chance at these places it might be worth a low key a letter but low chance some hope so these are some colleges where you do have some hope of getting off that wait list and it kind of depends on the year, 4 to 15% chance in here. Princeton, Stanford, UPenn, Northwestern, Wash U, Emory, Notre Dame, UCLA, UC Berkeley. Now, UC Berkeley used to be on my, like, really good bets list. Even before 2017, we were seeing something between, like, 20 to 30% of the ratio of students admitted off the wait list to those who are actually freshmen enrolled on campus was in some cases, 30% in the last five years. UC Santa Barbara, University of Rochester, Georgia Tech Case, Western University of Georgia, Ohio State, Villanova, Indiana University. It looked like last year COVID tightened their waitlist admissions intensely, and they also just admitted more people last year. So we'll see what happens this year. If they go back to what was happening 2017 to 2019, you definitely have a shot. It kind of just depends on what admit rate they're working with right now. If they're up to 85% where they were last year, you know, you might have some chances off the wait list. If it's lower, you might be in better shape. SMU, UMass, Amherst. Okay, now let's get into the decent chance. These are a small list of schools where if you are waitlisted, I really highly recommend that you write a letter of continued interest. You have a real shot at this. Duke, Vanderbilt, University of Washington, Seattle, Worcester Polytechnic, Fordham, and Baylor. Just a heads up, Fordham does a lot of yield protection. So if you have high stats and you think you should have gotten into Fordham, you're puzzled why you didn't, definitely write a letter of continued interest. Tell them they're your top choice. You very well could roll off that waitlist tomorrow and maybe even get financial aid or merit scholarships. Like it's crazy the kind of things Fordham does to protect its yield. So be aware. And that can happen on down the list too. You know, if, if you've got really great statistics, didn't get in all these places that you wanted to go and you express interest, sometimes you'll find you'll pop up these wait lists pretty quickly. And it can take some time to pop up a wait list, right? Schools often will have to wait until we get kind of into April and other students are starting to turn down offers and accept offers other places. Some may have to wait till May 1st. So this is another thing that happens with wait lists, just to be clear, is a lot of schools are not going to let you off their wait list till after May 1st. And the reason for that is that they need to know who's accepting or not accepting their offers of admission. What that means is you need to go ahead and put down a deposit at another school by May 2nd. If you are really going to get off wait lists, you can wait till the last minute to send that payment in because sometimes you will roll off a wait list earlier. If a school knows that some people aren't yielding or if people have turned down the offers or et cetera, et cetera, they could offer you a spot off the wait list or if it's like a yield protection move, for example. Sometimes you can roll off really quickly, but you may have to wait and you may have to lose your deposit. That's part of the wait list game. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up. I encourage you guys again to head to our blog where we have the full data chart for this video. Also, we have a couple of online courses for the SAT and the ACT. If you haven't even applied to college yet and you're just like watching this for fun, I definitely recommend that you check out supertutortv.com. You can also connect with us on social. We're on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, as well as right here on YouTube. All you have to do is subscribe to our channel by hitting subscribe. We also have a mailing list. It's totally free, supertutortv.com slash subscribe. And we'll keep you in the know of everything we've got going on. If you are looking to send a Loki, make sure you check out my tips for writing a Loki, how to write a killer Loki. Good luck, you guys. Let us know where you got in, where you're waitlisted in the comments. We'd love to know. Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Take care and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.